Inspire Extrude Polymer is an easy to use CAD based interface. You won't be required to complete steps such as meshing or boundary condition creation manually. All these operations are completely done in the background with no user intervention. Once we get the die geometry imported in Inspire Extrude Polymer, orient die in positive Z direction to position die center at global origin. Extract flow volume inside die cavity. Select polymer melt material and provide polymer melt inlet velocity by clicking on the inlet surface. Automatically organize solids to polymer layers and create the profile solid from the land surface. Retain the default profile length which is three times the length of land solid. Further, we can change the default process data or can submit the setup for simulation run. Analyzing an extrusion analysis results such as velocity, displacement, temperature and relative exit speed difference percentage provide a detailed understanding of how material deforms and flows during extrusion. Using this data, we can also detect flow imbalances at the die exit and understand the material flow at different die regions and help in redesigning to improve the performance of the die. The pressure at the ram end provides the extrusion force required to push the billet and also provides information on the resulting extrusion loads on the die surface. User can also set up extrusion of more than one polymer with or without inserts. Further, user can set the free surface boundary conditions to each polymer profiles. Boundary condition can be updated to one of the surface and append to all the free surface area of the profile. Temperature, velocity, displacement results can be viewed for each profile separately by isolating the layers. Setting up a tool deflection analysis. Using the load faces tool, we can add or remove load faces from the existing set of load surfaces. Set boundary conditions for tool deflection analysis, which requires loads and constraints. Setting up a calibration analysis. Import CAD geometry. Set the orientation so that the starting position is at Z equals zero. By clicking on the imported profile solid or surface, the profile solid is created. The profile length should extend a few inches beyond the last calibration die. You are required to select a workpiece material for the polymer profile and a tool material for the calibration die. Designate all calibration dies. Select coolant channel faces on the calibration die. Submit for analysis. Post process results once the run is completed.